It's been more than 40 years since the birth of first IVF child. We are still growing in the field. Results are improving day by day. With increasing incidence of infertility, the need of IVF for infertile couples has increased a lot in last two decades. More and more couples are getting pregnant with the help of IVF test tube baby. Making the call for an IVF consultation is never easy and we understand that, that taking the first step can seem like a daunting prospect. So we are here to help and explain the process of IVF step by step so that you can understand the procedure and take your first step easily. IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. It's one of the most widely known types of assisted reproduction technology. IVF works by using a combination of medicines and surgical procedure to help fertilize an egg and help the fertilized egg to implant in your uterus. The first step of IVF is ovarian hyperstimulation. Patients are given injectable hormones for 9 to 10 days that makes several of eggs grow and mature. The egg growth is monitored every 3 to 4 days by ultrasonography and hormone levels in your blood. After eggs are mature enough, which takes approximately 9 to 10 days of injection, trigger injection is given. After the trigger injection, ovum pickup procedure is scheduled. Ovum pickup is the procedure in which your doctor takes the eggs out of your body with the help of transvaginal sonography. The procedure is done under mild intravenous anesthesia. No incision is made on your body. The eggs retrieved in ovum pickup is mixed with sperm of your partner in the IVF lab. Fertilization can be done by conventional IVF or ICSI intracytoplasmic sperm insemination. In conventional IVF, eggs are incubated with sperms and left for fertilization on their own, while in ICSI, one of the best quality sperm is taken out and injected in the egg, forced to fertilize with the egg. ICSI is usually advised to the patients with very poor sperm quality, number and poor sperm motility. After fertilization, the cells in the zygote divide to form embryos. From two cells, the embryos divides to form eight cell stage on day three and blastocyst is formed on day five. After three to five days of egg retrieval, one or more embryos are put into the uterus. This procedure is called embryo transfer. This is the final procedure of IVF. During embryo transfer procedure, embryos are placed inside the uterus. Embryo transfer procedure is done under ultrasound guidance. Anesthesia is usually not advised for the same. Resting for two to three days after embryo transfer is advised. You can go back to your normal activity after that. You will be advised medications after embryo transfer. The embryos placed in the uterus attaches to the lining of uterus that is called as implantation. Pregnancy happens after implantation which is checked after 12 to 14 days of embryo transfer with serum beta HCG test and urine pregnancy test. 
IVF has many steps and it takes several months to complete the whole process. Sometimes it works on very first cycle. But for many people, there can be need of more than one round of IVF cycle to get pregnant. But IVF is a miracle. Finally, it fulfills the dream of parenthood. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.